the timing of the release of the draft mining charter last week is puzzling. Currently, the Chamber of Mines has asked for legal certainty on the once empowered, always empowered principle. There's also another legal case pending. And there's been no real consultation on this draft document either. Our understanding was that he'll be ready in April to start engaging with us and uh, that engagement is, has not sort of taken place. So we are just as equally surprised as everybody else about the release of this charter in, at this time around. However, we will engage on it. If you look at the content of the proposed charter, if you look at the current litigation process, um, there is so much animosity between the parties and this is not healthy, so we hope that they fast track both processes while everyone wants resolution, unions say that the new draft is good news for their members and the communities where mining occurs. If you look at your ownership elements uh, overall, the, the gazetted um, uh, uh, draft put a minimum of 5% ownership by each of the three uh, 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 participants in a B transaction for it to be meaningful. When we speak of the three participants, the mining charter speaks of B partners, or be entrepreneurs, workers through employee share ownership schemes and communities. The positives are that in ownership 5% must belong to uh, employees and unions must be trustees on that specific trust. That's definitely a major victory and benefit for unions and employees. A change to the current charter is in the employment of skilled and educated black people, something that the sector has struggled with for many years. There's also the question of health and safety. The concern is, especially when it comes to the appointment of uh, individuals, that there is, they raise the bar tremendously when it comes to black appointments. It will be very difficult to find so many skilled black employees at this stage. And secondly, they remove the whole part regarding health and safety and sustainability. Another fairly significant move is in the procurement space, especially for foreign companies. The current charter speaks of 0.5%. The draft or the gazetted one speaks of 1% uh, of expenditure from multinationals needs to be put in a trust. With just 30 days left before the next stage in the legislative process, the parties are all going to be sitting down and talking hopefully in the next three weeks. We wonder whether we would get a charter that will get um, full concurrence and support from everybody if stakeholders are going to be given just 30 days. I'm Angelo Coppola for CCTV in downtown Johannesburg.